Welcome back everyone once again to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to do some more Premier Cup battles right here. Running the same three. However, I will note that for Snorlax, I have decided to test out Outrage instead of Superpower. Because I keep on running into all those Dragonites. So let's get right to it and see if, it, if that comes into play. I played a few matches with this uh, new team. And yeah, Outrage has helped us a little bit so far. So let's see if we can land an Outrage on like a Dragonite or a Garchomp. So let's see. So not a good lead. <laughs> I'm going to switch into Snorlax right away. My opponent doesn't know that I don't have Superpower. I'm hoping they switch out, but they don't. <laughs> So at this point, I wonder if they're just going to go for the wild charge and then leave. So I'm going to let them hit me with the wild charge. Yeah, and I expect the switch now. And there's the Gyarados. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the Outrage right now. I don't have much health left, so I kind of want to see if I can throw the, the nuke early. And yeah, I land it. Sweet. So we're looking okay, I guess. Let's see, I wonder if we can shield this and then throw a body slam and see if we can win switch advantage. Let's see, they might shield however, but that's all right if they do. Um, so let's see, but they do shield, which is fine. So let's see if we can get to another body slam or are they gonna commit to the farm down? It's gonna be a, a race. Oh, very close. So let me think about this for a second. I will shield one more time. We're already there. Oh, almost. <laughs> I thought I, I thought it was a CMP tie, so I, I didn't really keep on clicking there. So let's see if, if they shield again. They do. So which is fine with us. This uh, Togekiss will come in, take out the rest of this Gyarados, and all shields are down. So let's see what they have in the back aside from the Magna Zone and. It has to be something that um, Swampert can take down. They come back when with the Magni Zone as expected. And it's a uh, Garchomp. So let's see how we handle this. So I'm going to throw the Hydro Cannon now. I don't know if going for Earthquake would have made a better decision. Let's see, we don't take it out unfortunately. And there's some lag right after the charge. Yeah. Uh, PvP was down for a little bit. I was trying to record about an hour and a half earlier, but couldn't. Ooh. So, <laughs> so I can't get that one off, which, you know, in hindsight, I, and it might be too late now, I kind of want to not <laughs> do much damage on this Garchomp. <laughs> because I want to see if I could have gone to a flamethrower on my Togekiss. So they're probably going to throw the Sand Tomb now. I'm trying to think of how long it takes Magna Zone to get to... Uh... Oh, they actually throw the Outrage, which is even better. Yeah, in retrospect, I, sh I should have not even done any damage. <laughs> Let's see. This might be a Mirror Shot, and if it is, it might still take me out because I'm super uh, weak to both <laughs> of their charge. It's a Wild Charge, so good game to my opponent. Yeah, I we were that close too. I think... Um... I just realized um, that uh, strategy a little too late and that happens. I mean, it's hard to kind of plan everything out right away. So we take down or we, uh, we drop the first game pretty close still despite losing lead. Um, so and we were never in really any good matchups. We were kind of fighting uphill all along. So we do get a decent one here uh, in Machamp. I expect a swap right away. Um, and they kind of wait a little bit, and I actually am a little bit slow myself. I wonder if I should have uh, stuck around for a few more charms. So we get to two Hydro Cannons right away, but we're pretty low at this point, and we definitely want to win Switch, so... I. But it's not really in our hands because their Togekiss is, uh, can just farm us down. It's not a matter of shielding or not. So let's see what they do. So they double shield. So that's very interesting. It, make, it makes me think that maybe they're really weak to Toby Kiss all around. I will go ahead and let um, Swamper go down now. It's done its job. 
So let me think. I'm going to come with uh, Sn Snorlax, of course, because I don't want Machamp to end up lining itself with it. So there's no more shields on their side. We know we can take out this Togekiss. Um, Machamp has a little bit of energy, but not enough to get a charge move off, I don't think. So we're going to have to keep working away at this Togekiss. Let me see. I'm trying to think. I need at least one shield for my Togekiss. But their, their Togekiss charge moves really don't do a ton of damage. So I should be able to take it out hopefully with a body slam here. It could be actually very close. So let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can take it out. Yeah, very close. So we're going to keep licking, 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 licking. And we actually go down. And hopefully they don't have a charge move ready for my Togekiss. Just we don't want to take an ancient power. So I'm hoping they have a Dragonite. <laughs> Ideally, we have two shields to work with. It's a Gyarados, and is it a Dragon Breath Gyarados? It is. So we're going to get to our Ancient Power. And I think we're looking good. I don't want to jinx myself. But yeah, we, we saved our Togekiss um, for the end, which was great. When we worked around, um, you know, other problems along the way. And they, they shielded up twice early, which... Um, it's, it's a gamble that could definitely pay off sometimes. Um, and we experienced some lag, unfortunately. Hopefully this doesn't cost the game. So down goes the Gyarados. And I'm going to keep on tapping just to be safe. Because we're, we're taking the Machamp out with just fast moves. We have a shield. We're looking great. Um, the weak connection really uh, concerns me, though. Because look at the Machamp is just going to town on us. And if they can get to two rock slides, that's it for us, <laughs> unfortunately. So we'll shield one. And I really hope they could not get to another rock slide. Because I think they were able to get to two fast moves, maybe. And they don't. So it doesn't cost us, but it's definitely something that we need to watch out for for these next three games. We don't want lag to play a role. So we even up the matchup so far, one and one. Haven't yet been able to... Um, Showcase the Snorlax Outrage too much on a super effective level. But so hopefully that would come into play. Usually that comes into play more so when I lose lead and my opponents is switching a Dragonite into my Snorlax. And I, I've been able to land uh, an Outrage on Dragonite, I think maybe twice already since I've switched uh, off camera. And there's the Snorlax. I'm switching into Swampert, which is my usual play for Snorlaxes. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Hydro Cannon. Build up to Earthquake, throw the Hydro. Just confuse my opponent. I honestly don't really mind what they do. I'll just adjust to whatever they decide to do. They end up not uh, not shielding, which is alright. Body Slam coming in, I'm, I'm pretty sure. This is a Best Buddy Snorlax, by the way. So we need to be aware that it's a little more tankier than an average Snorlax, of course. And another Body Slam on its way. We want to make sure we align the... Dragonite with uh, Togekiss, so we want to keep on, we want to keep the switch advantaged as much as we can. So I'm going to see if I can get two Hydro Cannons off. Um, if they shield one, then so be it. Um, I might start investing my shields as well in that case. So we do get to another Hydro Cannon, which is lovely. We should outpace the Snorlax to a charge move, so if they do decide to start shielding, which they don't, which is perfect. The Dragonite will come in though and start farming, which I'm not too concerned about because Togekiss does pretty well even against the charge moves of Dragonites. So I'm going to lower its uh, health a little bit and expect a swap pretty soon from their end. But the Dragonite's staying in for a little bit. They have two shields, so we need to keep that in mind. I am not going to use a shield here. Um, I don't think the Dragonite can get to anything that would threaten us. Yeah, it's an Outrage. There's a little more than uh, Dragon Claw, but still, we're looking great. So it's down to the last Pokemon. They have two shields. Let's see what they have. It's a uh, Metagross, which is not what we like to see. So because we don't have any um, charge moves that can do damage, but I'm expecting them to shield anyways. So I'm building up a ton. And I'm going to expect that they're going to shield these 
So, and we have a flamethrower for Togekiss, by the way. So, let's see how it goes. So, first charge move coming in. I'm gonna shield this. Hopefully it's an earthquake. I would much prefer that. Oh, it's a psychic. Interesting. So, it's not the first time I've seen a psychic on a Metagross. And at this point, I'm hoping maybe I can farm it all the way down and not even have to throw a charge move. I'm throwing these just in case. If I can get two off, then the Togekiss can come in and finish it off with a charge move. Um, they might be aware that I have a flamethrower already, so they get to another psychic and they'll have to get to one more to take me out and they're They're probably hoping they can farm me. So let's see if we can stop that <laughs> uh, So they do shield one more time. I'm gonna switch and throw the flamethrower right away Yeah, that's that's a great thing about having a charge move ready before you swap out It's because you know you can just get to it right away and if you win CMP tie and you know it, then you know you will be able to get your move off first. So good game to my opponent. That was a really interesting one. <clears throat> and yeah, we, they, they lost lead and they hung in there pretty tough. So my hat's off to them. Um, so yeah, so our rankings have been going up a little bit. Um, we're above 2300 now. Last time I was <laughs> above 2300, I think I was there for about a minute. <laughs> And then I dropped all the way down to the low 2100s and I was clawing my way back up until I found this team, which has really changed my lineup around. So Metagross in the lead here. Um, so we're going to switch to Snorlax. They don't know that I don't... Oh, this is the situation I was talking about where Dragonite will come in and hopefully not shield the first uh, Outrage. So Outrage on his way. Hopefully they think I'm just farming or like scaring them, I should say, shield baiting. And let's see. Yeah, that's how much damage an Outrage can do. And now we're in the driver's seat the rest of the way. Um, so I do want to win Switch, but I want to take one Dragon Claw and assess the situation. We might be able to even lick them down at some point. Um, because I want to win Switch, I will shield. And that's my luck. I don't know if I can lick this Dragonite down. That's the thing. Can we? Oh, we can. Perfect. So they know I have Outrage now, so the Metagross technically doesn't have anything to be worried about. Um, Togekiss comes in, and I, I need to check to see if my Switch Clock is coming up. Because if it is, then I'm going to switch to Swampert, I think. N uh, no, that's not the right play either. <laughs> so the Togekiss has energy, so I need to keep an eye out for that. And they have a shield advantage. So I could be in some trouble. But I definitely need to get this Togekiss out of here. I wonder if I take an Ancient Power, can I still knock it out with fast moves? It's going to be very close. And I can at least get to... Ooh, I'm going to try to switch. Ooh, through it unnecessarily. I was trying to switch, but um, that was a great swap by my opponent. And they shield because they might have thought that was a Flamethrower. So that actually worked out for us. So they're down to one shield, we're down to one shield, and we're gonna, uh, they're gonna win the CMP tie, I think, here. Um, I'm definitely gonna shield one, I know, so why not shield the first, and, and at least leave my opponent more in the dark as of, you know, who's really ahead. So, uh, the Metagross has more energy, I believe. We got a, had an energy advantage. Okay, interesting, so they shield, and I'm gonna hope I can get to this Earthquake. Yes, we can. Because I think their Togekiss is low enough that um, a Hydro Cannon can take it out if I if I uh, remember correctly. Yeah, they're very low. So we should be able to get to a Hydro Cannon safely. A, a Ancient Power wouldn't even take us out. And I don't think Togekiss has enough energy because they threw it right at my Togekiss. Um, so yeah. Very nice win, and there you go. I, that's what I wanted to showcase, really, was uh, losing lead to a Metagross and then swapping into the Snorlax into their Dragonite. Because I've noticed a lot of teams are running Metagross in the lead, Dragonite in the back. Um, so I, that's why I swapped out Superpower. And if we had Superpower there, I think we would have lost that matchup um, for sure. So we hung in there because of it, and we're 3 and one it's always nice to have a winning set, um, but it's even nicer to get those rare candies, I gotta say.
And then that's what I'm in the market for because I use about a hundred on Mewtwo, which is about a third of all my rare candies at the time. Yeah, so it was a pretty steep investment and honestly, I've used Mewtwo more for those Team Rocket <laughs> opponents instead of uh, Master League so far. And, you know, I mean, it's still nice to have one because, you know, Mewtwo is a very popular Pokemon. It's very strong and yeah, you know, so I'm not too upset about that. I'm going to go ahead and let another uh, body stamp come in. And I, I, you know, I always hope that I can beat my opponent when I face a, a Snorlax lead. And I feel like sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just don't, I don't check the numbers carefully enough. And we're going to keep uh, firing some of these uh, charms off and lord. And it's actually even better that the Snorlax is throwing the charge move because it really didn't have to, I don't think. Um, it could have saved the energy for my next Pokemon. So that's all right. So it's a mirror match here. I wonder if I can beat it to the body slam. I doubt it. Oh, I can. Interesting. Just because um, your energy will never drop down to like zero or if it does it's like very unlikely um, if anything they usually like some sort of residual like oh you have like five more energy oh what the heck happened there was there like a misclick on their end um that was very odd it almost looked like that <laughs> metagross just turned into a gyarados um so yeah that was very very odd so i have a shield advantage here and they're not shielding their gyarados i think they're trying to save it for their Metagross, because they don't know I have a Swampert in the back. And uh, I like where I'm at right here. So, hmm, I have two shields, which is great. Um, I'm going to shield this just because I want to make sure I get this Gyarados out. Because I don't want Swampert to have to even think about having to face that Gyarados. So, they're very low at this point. So, they might not feel as worthy shielding and they'd rather just take their chances into the last matchup oh they do shield interesting so let's see at this point if i can get them at least low enough oh they actually just go down with fast moves so yeah they might have been trying to um and yeah now at this point yeah they were just trying to get to like a maybe a hydro cannon or something i'm not sure uh they knew i still have a shield left too if needed um so we get to earthquake and I think that should be game. Yeah, there you go. So another nice set for this team. And we swapped out um, Outrage, or excuse me, we swapped out Superpower for Outrage and and, and actually helped us win game, uh, was it three, I think? So, or was it game four? Either way, we, we go four and one, which is great, just because I need those uh, rare cans. And we get the charge TM that I needed too, because I kind of ran a little bit low. TMing away all those frustrations. Oh gosh, I think I TM'd maybe uh like 80 or 90 just because i have so many of those tms and i never know what to do with them and i just def definitely need to have more item storage so you know so yeah it is what it is um yeah just uh keep moving up you know with this team i'm trying to catch this uh lapras i'm actually trying to kill a little bit of time right now so i can uh get to the ratings uh showcase all right, just for you guys, I'm going to use a silver PNAP. <laughs> Try to speed this up. I know it's easier with uh, edited video, so, but I'm still just getting used to editing right now. Um, I spent a long time <laughs> on that theme song, believe it or not, the one that lasts like 12 seconds. Um, and it's actually a lot of fun editing and creating your own theme song. Um, so yeah, I'm learning a lot of different things about creating a YouTube channel. So I. I appreciate you guys so much for checking out this video and if you like it please uh, check out uh, any of my other videos um and i guarantee that i don't win all the time <laughs> just lately with this team has been pretty solid uh, so our ranking increased to 23.48 so pretty pretty good so we're about 150 points away from our goal of rank nine and we we have the end of the league coming up or end of the season coming up pretty soon so we got to keep on moving up so thank you once again if you like this video please drop a like comment or subscribe and i'll talk to you guys next time have a good day